Welcome back to the Sawdust Factory. In today's episode, we're gonna be turning some wood burls. A friend of mine gave me these two. This one is a soft maple, and this one's a hard maple. This log is actually hollow on the backside. Hopefully you can see back into the piece there. This is about nine inches from this cut face back into the inside of the burl. I'm not sure how rotten the burl is gonna be, it feels like it might be rotten on the inside. That shouldn't matter as long as this ring of live wood here wraps back into the burl. Well, we definitely have a burl. I was beginning to wonder if this really was a burl. However, it is extremely rotten, and there's a whole colony of ants right there that are hibernating in here. So, I'll just show you here how rotten this thing is. I don't know how much of this we will be able to use. I mean, it's not even to the point where you could stabilize it and turn it. It is just mush. It's like oatmeal. Alright, somewhat of a failure on my last burl. This one. So this one here's got a kind of a piece that runs around like this. It's rotten here. So I'm gonna section this this way through the log. I probably should have mentioned in the beginning of the video that my friend cuts wood and burns wood for to his house, to heat his house. So it's not like we went out in the middle of the woods and cut this tree down just because we thought there was a burl on it. Uh, it's along a field on a fence line that they've been clearing back progressively each year. So um, some of the live trees do end up coming down. This one was alive, this one was obviously dead. But he just moves along the tree line and, and cuts wood and seasons it for the next winter. Um, so it's just kind of in the path and that's how he spotted it in the first place. I should probably also mention that at this point in time, it doesn't look like this is so much of a burl, just more of a growth around a section of the tree that probably had been taken off um, as it got close to the edge of the field. Maybe something else fell on it and broke it off, or maybe somebody cut a limb off because it was protruding out. Uh, but irregardless, I have it. We're going to turn it and see what we get. I've started the roughing out process. It's uh, it's pretty out of balance. Kind of knew that given the fact that it was real long, but we're gonna at least take this out. We won't be able to take that out, but um, we'll leave that feature in there. And we got to make the bottom of the bowl somewhere here. So we've got quite a bit of material here to take out still. So just roughing that out.
So, no burl figure. Yeah, it's got nice figure, but no burl. Some ribboning and different stuff like that. Lots of cracks though, so this is kind of the neatest spot right there. Our grain's pretty tight right here though, so we might might see some cracking. Not the best finish on it, that's for sure. Um, this pocket right here that was open played heck with me because I had to run at such low speed because it's so out of balance. This is the best way I find for drying them out is just patience and time and anchor seal. So this is a wax emulsion product you can buy. It's water-based. I put it on the uh, surface and that slower drying process mitigates cracking of the wood. And we'll be able to get back to this project in about nine months. So no burl today, but um, maybe a burl in the future. That's the project for today. I'll get back to you when we turn this one right here. And maybe we'll do some turning on these pieces right here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, check out my channel for other wood turning videos. Hit the like button for me and be sure to subscribe.